guys, DPD here, and today we have another Japan Crates unboxing. I'm DPD, and this is Lucky, Hello. and we're here to eat some snacks. Yeah. All right, first of all, I just want to say, you know, if you want to buy some Japan Crates right now, if you want some Japanese snacks shipped straight from Japan, go to japancrate.com, use code DPD, and save yourself three dollars. That's right, if you use code DPD, you save yourself three dollars to your crates of great awesome Japanese snacks. Deliciousness. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the unboxing. Are we not gonna talk about how beautiful this packaging is? Oh yeah! It is now spring in the air here and also in Japan. And when it comes to spring, spring means cherry blossoms. So this box right here has a wonderful design. You know, you see Mount Fuji up on the top and some sakura blossoms all around. Backside, you have know. a little picnic because a lot of times during the cherry blossom season, people will go on picnic because of the, you know, cherry blossoms are really pretty. It's a springtime with Japan Crate. Oh, look at that. Thanks Japan Crate for wishing us a great spring. <laughs> here we go, we're just gonna open this up. Very really, pink, the very, inside's really pretty, look at that. Yeah, very, very wow. pink insides, and I just totally dropped a bunch of snacks and candies on my floor, let me pick that up. All right, so every Japan Crate comes with a pamphlet as all the contents that is inside this crate. So this pamphlet is a guide to every snack that's in the box. Also, uh, there's a thing called the Segoy Crate. So what is a Segoy Crate? It is a one lucky winner gets to win a bunch of awesome stuff. And one of those things is a Nintendo Switch. You can win a television. You could win a couple of video games, some plushies. This is last month's winner. So if you subscribe to Japan Crate, you automatically enter yourself in to win a Sequoia Crate, so that's really cool. So anyways, let's go and eat some snacks. We're just gonna go straight down the list here, and the first thing we're gonna try out is Milk Popcorn Kishu Plum Flavor. Oh, here it is, it is the big bag. Uh, let me read the description here. Loved in Japan since it was established in 1968, Mike Popcorn is a party favorite, also known for its seasonal and unique flavors. This edition uses 100% Japan-grown plums to give it a refreshing sour twist. Perfect for spring. Ow. Are you okay? I actually hurt my shoulder. All right. Oh, it smells good. Oh, let me, let me take a look. It's, 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 it's savory it's, popcorn. It smells like popcorn. I don't know. It just, what does it taste like? Wow, it's sour. It's, it's sour popcorn. You know, I've never had sour popcorn before. No, oh, wait. Uh, plum is really sour. Like pickled plums are really sour. Just salt bath. It is sour, right? And I guess since it's a, you said it was a plum. Yes. Oh wow, you have, you have to try it. Okay, I'll try one. I'll try one. Yeah, I was not expecting. Oh that yeah. Thing. Yeah. Oh, my mouth is like salivating. I'm gonna try again. Just it. Oh, I can't. I can't eat that. <laughs> no. It just tastes like a plum that's been left out. For <laughs> All right. So. Um, oh, by the way, we haven't picked what we're gonna rate this out of. Let's do um. Let's do uh, cherry blossoms. Yay! All right, so what uh, one out of five cherry uh, blossoms, what are you going to be rating this? Um, I'll give it a two. Okay, a two out of five cherry blossoms it's for the uh, plum flavored popcorn. So next. next is the cool pineapple chewing gum. The pineapple oh, that... chewing gum, yeah, so that's it. Oh, that's cute. A little penguin and a pineapple. So it looks pretty good. Um, we'll just take one. It comes in like, oh, it comes in like large, like pineapple sticks, sticks here. So you know, take a small Ooh. piece piece and uh, let me know what you what you think. Does it taste good at all? Mm -hmm, it's good. It's good? Okay. It's like pineapple gum. Alright, so, so what do you think? Mm -hmm. Five. Five? All I right, really like cool. it. So if you, uh, if, you know, if you like pineapple and something tastes like pineapple, uh, you would assume you like it. She likes pineapple. So there yeah. you go. Next is peach mints. So um, refresh <gasps> your breath this spring with peach perfection. Pause, pause. It hit the thing. What? It, the bird had a piece of bread and it hit your thing. What bird? There's a crow that hit your thing. Oh, what bread? It had a piece of bread in its mouth and it went boom. You didn't hear it? No. Is it still hitting it? Is that what it is? It's a piece of bread. All right, next we have peach mints. Refresh your breath this spring with peach perfection. All right, cool. So it comes in a nice little... It's Cute. Cylinder thing. Pop it like this. All right, so you pop it in. And okay. I'm assuming. Oh wow! Hmm? It's like peach yogurt. Oh yeah, it smells like peach yogurt. Oh, it's weird. 
It's good? Oh, well, it's good. Very good, very good. I'll give it a five. All right, five. I like it. Five out of five for the peach mints. Next, we have the Poutite Chocolate Strawberry Milk. Fun to eat and fun to play with, too. These strawberry milk chocolate spheres pop out when you're in for a fun and small choco treat. Oh, karaoke. I guess they have like little activities or stuff on here written underneath each ball. I'm assuming it's like an M&M. &M. It's like a hard... It's like a strawberry chocolate M Yeah, this is basically a strawberry M&M. &M. Okay, I mean nothing wrong Not with M&Ms. Yeah. I like it. Five? Five, all right. Another five out of five for the Poutite Chocolate Strawberry Milk. Um, all right, next we have Nori and Salt Pride Potato. <gasps> so this is it. Nori like and Salt Pride Potato. That this sounds is good. Okay, so I'm gonna read the description here while she tries to open it up and eats it. Koi Keya is a popular chip brand from Japan. This edition is seasoned with three kinds of seaweed and complemented with chili pepper and sesame oil too. Wait, I can open it. Oh, okay. that smells good. All right, the secret blend of seaweed and salt creates a yummy umami taste that's unmatched and so yummy that you'll have eaten the whole bag before you know it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they look like those like nori chips, They're, like the nori lays. How's it taste? I feel like this is like right. It was up my alley. Yeah, it was right up my alley. She loves seaweed. She snacks on seaweed like all the time. She loves potato chips. She likes salty foods. I feel like this is like the perfect snack for her. Mm. All right. Very good, very good. Like it's perfectly balanced. Enough seaweed, enough crunch, enough salt. I like it. So I'm assuming this is a perfect five out of five? Oh yeah. All Definitely. right. Cool. I will inhale that later. <laughs> okay, next we have the Mintia <gasps> Sakura. I love these. I actually have the great Mintia because I love these when we got these in Japan. They're basically mints. Uh, Lucky actually has several uh, Mintia boxes on her desk right now and uh, surprise surprise here comes a seasonal Mintia. Mintia is one of Japan's most popular pocket mints. This edition of Sakura Cherry Blossom is, the, is only available for a limited time. The case is thin enough to easily fit in a pocket slash sleeve and features an opening that releases one mint at a time for your convenience. Love these. They are really good. Like when we went to Japan, I remember I just stocked up on these. So what's cool is you shake it down, the opening's right here, and you pull it out and one pops out, which is pretty cool. You can see the tiny. <gasps> it's gonna be really hard. To, oh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little uh, cherry blossom that is imprinted into the actual mint. Wow, nice. It's definitely more floral. The thing is with minty is a lot of the time is they actually don't taste like mints. They're not minty. They're just usually like sweet candies. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why I really like these. But um, give it a five out of five. They're really good. All right, I'll cool. Use this again. Cute. All right, cool. Look at that. That's Keep a really it. cool design on the front. Next up, we have the Sukaranbo mochis. So uh, we've had these before. So basically, they're little rice, we like Sweden rice cubes. Um, let me read the description for you guys. Uh, these cherry square gummies have a mochi-like texture too. Oh, sorry, they're not rice. They're obviously mochi is rice, but these are gummy mochis with a toothpick. Toothpick included. Eat one by one uh, for a tasty sweet treat. Toothpick. So it comes with a toothpick. You grab you it. You stab the it. gummy and you just plop it in your mouth. It's good. It's weird. That's weird. Because you said it's not mochi. It's gummy. It's a gummy. Yeah. But it tastes like mochi. They have a mochi texture to them, but they are gummies. So they're definitely not rice. Flavored pretty good. A yeah. little bland, a little bland. Just maybe because I just ate like four things that had like intense sugar. Yeah. I think it's sweet enough and a lot of people would enjoy it. Yep. Five out of five. All right, five out of five once again. Next up we have, this one's cool, gummy fries. A fry? They're gummy fries, look. I don't know, but like, <laughs> it looks like, it, they look like french fries, but the yeah. Um, this sleeve of gummies also look like a yummy sleeve of real fries. I just noticed, I thought it was part of the design of the actual Yeah, wrapping. so it, it comes in like a little uh, french fry container thing. It's this cum cum burger. I love it. Give it a five out of five. All right, five out of five for the gummy fries. Um, next up, we have the chocolate lube. Lubera? It's matcha flavored. We can't get enough of this confection. Each cookie is rolled with a matcha chocolate filling that we think pairs perfectly with a hot cup of tea or cocoa. These guys, oh, these uh, look fancy. Wow. Yeah. 
paper like boxes. It looks fancier. Ooh. Oh, so they come in individual wrap. Yeah, so each one is individually wrapped. They, they look like rolled up uh, those wafer cookies. You know, that's what, that's mm. what it looks like. The straw like uh, yeah, crack like wafers? Those, those, those tall straw look, looking like uh, rolled up wafers. That's what it looks like. So, bah. Whoa, that smells like matcha. Like it so, look, it yeah. looks like they just got a bunch of like matcha powder and just like wow. shoved it in that. Wow. So how's it taste? I'm fine. You're making a mess, but it's okay. So the wafer itself is very, very soft. It basically, can... it basically breaks in your mouth, and then the inside has this like very, actually very sweet for matcha. It's a very sweet matcha cream. If you can see in the middle. It was like a cream in the inside. You like it? Uh, Alright, cool. I, I'm not a fan of like bitter flavors, but this is actually quite sweet. So if you don't like sweet matcha, then you might not like this either. But I, I like this because that's so sweet. I'll give it a five. Alright, another five out of five for the chocolate lubera. Next up we have Choco Ball Refresh Coke. These things right oh here. Oh my gosh. So only available for a limited time from March to the end of June. This edition of Choco Ball Candy is made by coating chocolate with crackling candy with cola flavored chocolates. Huh, cola, cola flavored flavor? chocolate, okay. You have a little toucan, I love him. Yeah, so look, it's a, it's a toucan uh, mouth. If you look at him from the side, look. <gasps> oh, it's cute, I just noticed, oh, please don't fall. You said it's a chocolate cola? Yeah, so it's chocolate cola. So it's chocolate covered in a chocolate cola. Oh! Oh, you okay? Surprise? I thought it was gonna be a hard candy. It looked like a it sounds like a hard candy when you no. shake it. It sounds like a hard it's candy. It's crunchy. Oh okay. No, I didn't think cola and chocolate mix. But now I think they do. I didn't think they would mix either, but apparently they do, I guess, yeah. Like inside is a little like a pop, like you know when you um those pop rocks? Kinda like that right now. Huh, interesting. Yeah, it's literally popping in my mouth. Cool. So the toucan on the cover looks like he's kinda like popping in the inside. Oh, I don't know if they can hear it, but it's literally no. popping in my mouth. Okay. So if you guys ever had like Pop Rocks before, you know the little sparkly candies that you put in there? You stick in your mouth and then you just go... Yeah. Get, so yeah. Oh, that's weird. I can hear it. I can actually hear it. Really? Yeah. yeah. It sounds like fizz. It sounds like yeah. it's fizzing in your mouth. That's cool. I give it a 5 out of 5. That's right. actually pretty Another fun. Another 5 out of 5. It tastes good. It's a very like... Almost like a white chocolate. Very huh. white chocolate. Okay. But it's really good. Interesting. Okay. Next up, we're going to have the Sakura Mochi. <gasps> Sakura Mochi is really good. Where is it? Ooh! There it is. Ooh! It just looks good. It looks uh, looks really good. It's fancy. Okay, so I'll read the description for you guys. Uh, each square confection has wrapped uh, has wrapped the glutinous gummies with sakura mochi chocolate and adzuki bean paste. Oh, uh, bean chocolate, sorry. The slightly salty taste of the salted cherry blossom leaf powder contained in the Sakura Mochi chocolate enhances the flavors for a unique taste we've never before experienced. Okay, so. It's very fancy. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's, it's a square. Okay. And what is it? Oh, it looks. Is it chewy? Oh, there's like a. There's like a jelly in the inside of it. Oh. Are you okay? You should try one. It's like a one time, like. What? Just, just. Okay, now I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. She, she looked like she was really happy, and then she bit into it, and she was like, no longer happy. I'm gonna throw the whole thing in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Tastes kind of bitter. A little like earthy. So it's on the outside. There's a mix of red bean and uh, matcha, and on the inside, it's just mochi, like mochi gummy. I mean, if you like red bean and matcha together, I, I know, know there's several places that serve this as uh, a dessert. Your mom actually really likes red bean and mocha, uh, re uh, matcha together. Mom, so, you're watching this, you might like this. And you hate... I don't like hate, red bean. You hate red bean. You also don't, aren't really fond of matcha. And so together, yeah, so this is not really your thing. But, you know, I'm not rating these. You are, so what do you rate it? I don't right. think I'll eat another one. I really Alright, so she's gonna rate this a one. Right, you can save this for your mom. Yeah, maybe my mom maybe my mom will like it. Next is the Puku Puku Thai melon soda. So Oh melon soda is good. So Puku Puku Thai is uh they usually send this every other box or so. It's basically a, a wafer that's sh shaped as a fish and inside has a nice cream filling. Usually they come in broken because you know these boxes are shipped from Japan they come in completely shattered but this is uh, perfectly intact so as you can see here look at the fish it is perfectly intact all right so smells good 
Oh, yeah. Wow. It's it smells like honeydew. Like if you ever Very had strong honeydew. Yeah, if you ever had honeydew, like the the green melons, that's legit what this smells like. And let let I wonder what it tastes like. Does it taste like honeydew? It's kind of sour. Huh. If you look at them, they have very, it's very, all of that is cream right there. All of that's cream. But um, I mean, maybe, I mean, we've been eating so much candy and snacks within the last how many, how many minutes. So I think maybe it's a culmination of just everything in your mouth right now. You know, could be. No. All right. Just sour. Just straight up tart. Huh. Weird. Okay. So what do you rate it? I'm intrigued, but I don't, I can't tell them entirely. I'll give it a four. Cause okay. I think I would, I would still enjoy, I still enjoy this. I just. I mean, you're still, you're still eating I'm it. I'm still eating it, you know? But I don't think it's like the, the best, best thing, gotcha, gotcha. you know? Two more left. Um, we have the Kit Kats and the drink. So we're gonna eat the Kit Kat. So this Kit Kat is ume flavored. Here you go, show the package oh, here. Plum flavored, I like plums. There you go. So every, uh, just about every Japan Crates, uh, the premium, if you order the premium box from Japan Crates, they usually come with a very special limited edition Kit Kat, and this month is ume flavor. This so nice. I will read the description here for these Kit Kats. A new edition of Kit Kats is here with 13 mini pieces. This edition of ume, plum flavor, uh, the white chocolate is infused with Japanese plum juice powder um, that is naturally tart and give each and gives each bar a unique and fruity, refreshing flavor that's balanced by a sweet white chocolate. Oh wow, that smells really good. Yeah. Yeah, it smells, wow. it smells really good. I'm intrigued. Also it's like a lime kind of color. Which yeah, is it's kind of like cute. a like a light green color. Yeah, I like this color. It's actually you don't see this in yeah. very many like I guess Kit Kats, but Alright, ready? Cheers. Alright, let's try one. Oh yeah. Mm. It's like a it's like a it's like a sweet, sour, fruity, tarty taste. Hard to explain, but it tastes like plum. I pretty much tastes yeah. like plum. I like the kind of like the tart kick. We had a lot of tart things, but this is probably the best tart thing we've had <laughs> that I've had in this box. I think it's really good. Yum. We right, give it a five. All right, we give it a five for the Kit Kats, the Ume Plum Kit Kats. And now we um, end the unboxing with this. This is Ume Plum Sparkling Soda. That sounds super good. I hope it's not like soda water though. Oh, we'll find out. Okay, let oh, me no. read the description. Sparkling Kishi no Ume. This carbonated drink uses Nanko plums produced by Wakayama Prefecture and provides a refreshing sour and sweet flavor in each sip. Let us know what you think. Oh, we'll let you know what, you, what we think. Let's, let's see. Okay, it smells, it smells like, like peaches, which is weird because it's plum, right? Yeah. Like peaches. And what does it taste like? That was a long sip. I'm curious now. It kind of tastes more like peach almost. Yeah, it's very sweet. What I actually. It's really good. Wait, why is it so good? Try some. It does taste like peach. Right? Yeah, like a peach juice, almost. Like a sparkling, but sparkling. Yeah. yeah. Man, I love this. I mean, i give it a five. I, I'd give this a five. This is really good. All right, good. cool. All right, thank you for watching, guys. And you know, if you guys are interested in eating some Japanese snacks getting shipped straight from Japan monthly, go to japancrate.com, use code DPITY, and save yourself $3 on your entire order, guys. Do it. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I uh, we guess we'll see you guys next month. And until then, uh, keep snacking. Keep snack keep snacking. Keep that's, snacking! That's, that's a new thing. Alright bye.